I'm really sorry for not uploading videos. I was not feeling good. I was laying in bed drinking tea, just trying to get rest so I could feel better. But it turns out I am completely fine. I am in good health now. I feel a lot better. So pretty much the video we're going to be reacting to was sent in by one of you guys, a subscriber by the name of Kane. The video that we were about to watch is called Boys Will Be Girls by Francis Aaron. So I'm really excited to see what this is going to be about. It looks like it's going to be some type of music video so hey this guy could be just as good as tom mcdonald without further ado let's get into it boys will be girls okay like i said this guy could be just as good as tom mcdonald so we about to find out right now yo a man cannot become a woman any more than a man can become a bat yeah, these crackpots will stop at nothing, so of course I'm gonna catch a ton of flack. Look, even if a man self identifies as a bat, adapts his swag of an axe oddly, even if he's utterly convinced he's a bat and believes he's a bat trapped in a man's body, to the extent that he fits artificial web wings on his back and lives a nocturnal lifestyle in a cave hanging from the ceiling, even if he sleeps perched upside down, even if he somehow installs a nifty interface to navigate the world by echolocation, feeds on a diet of fruit and insects and blood on special occasions in order for all the world world to recognize him as a bat he gives his fake wings a flap sorry to break it to you but still this does not make him a bat because a bat is a bat and that is a fact question can a bat be a bat whilst at the same time not be a bat no he's either a bat or he's not a bat and he can't transform at the drop of a hat and if i voice a doubt nor is it batophobic to point this out i'm somewhat perplexed that i even have to say this nevertheless it's an act listen that man Dressed as a bat Likewise man cannot magically become woman Even if he seeks a life beyond one Cannot negate biology with a wave of the magic The assignment one The transgender woman has no womb No ovaries XY chromosomes encode the genes She does not have periods regularly Plus will never experience pregnancy Has no acquaintance with menstruation Required a facelift to make him look like her Will never have to endure childbirth And has only a surgically carved makeshift vagina Biologically it's a falsehood Cause it seems to me they're bluffing Psychologically a man does not know what it means to be a woman Perhaps I misunderstood Nonetheless, I reckon this claptrap hasn't done him good The man who self-identifies as a woman has but a man's grasp upon womanhood That is to say, next to nothing And yet he's sworn he's not gay Perhaps it's an extravagant act of mimicry An extreme form of cosplay With that being said, if a man wishes to live his life imitating a woman or a bat If a man's in a muddle and is struggling his act Finds himself puzzled and befuddled and detached If a man's having trouble and is struggling with that. And when it's all said and done, he doesn't have a stomach for the fact that the remedy would be to proclaim himself as a woman of a bat. Fine, but if that man then demands in law that I'm to recognize him as a woman or a bat when he's blatantly neither a woman nor a bat, then what type of logic is that? If it's now been declared a diabolical act to plainly state what is a biological fact, what then? They have a lack of any proof. People, what happened to the truth? Boys will be girls and girls will be boys. What? Coming soon to a school near you. This is the new normal. Boys will be girls, and girls will be boys. This is fire. Gender's a social construct. These folks have lost touch. Hey, so how many goddamn genders are there? And who dreamt up this empty drama? They plumbed the depths and spun this web, and now biology is under threat. Heard to see if the gender theory heard. Gender's a spectrum. Haven't you heard the concept of gender is fluid? Reality check. You are deluded. But now these pitiful little fools wish to teach this piffle to kids in school. Madness in the individual is rare. But amongst herds, it is the rule. When 50% of millennials think gender's a spectrum, I pity the next generation. Condemned to be raised by a bunch of eunuchs who slept through sex education. But there's a difference between sex and gender. Then will you dimwits learn? Up until 1955, gender was naught but a linguistic term. But our findings reveal the traditional male and female binary is false. Plus we've discovered that socially constructed nature of gender is entirely a fault They talk of findings and discoveries These findings have been trending But these people can't tell the difference between finding and inventing And so they broke with reality Enter the age of social insanity I for one won't be stroking their vanity Now I'm told this is blasphemy Cause Boys will be girls and girls will be boys Coming soon to a school near you. This is the new normal. I like this. Boys will be girls, and girls will be boys. Gender's a social construct. 
These folks have lost touch. I don't know. This guy might be up there with Tom McDonald because he's just spitting facts. Text. These folks have lost touch. But I too shall assert the humanities. I shall be deemed a pioneer when they hear me. I'm gonna create my own field of so-called research and I shall call it age theory. I've conned on to the clever tactics that are draped in elegant gilding. There are ten-year-olds who act like geriatrics and pensioners who behave like petulant children. Hence, age is a social construct, a hoax that they hope would suppress us. The gerontocracy constructed the concept of age so as to oppress us. Throughout life we merely perform our age. It seems that we were out of sync. If I'm a five-year-old who on the inside is 21, why should I not be legally allowed to drink our own age? is something we ought to be free to designate. Allow me to demonstrate by the standards of the evil gerontocracy I'm seen as being 28 But I self-identify as a 75-year-old Age is a spectrum I should get my free bus pass And the state should pay me my pension Exactly justice I demand my rights I want to choose my own birthday I'm an OAP in a boy's body You better watch what words you use in the workplace You need to use my pronouns I reject your request for more evidence I demand that henceforth I be referred to as your eminence. My personal pronoun is we. My possessive pronoun is quiz. My reflexive pronoun is himself. You better note down this list. I self-identify as a septuagenarian. Safe to say I may screech if anybody points out I'm not what I say I'm. They're engaged in hate speech. I call for the state to stop these tyrants, to have them gagged and silenced. They're creating a toxic climate that lies an act of violence. How dare they make such a vague suggestion and question my age expression away with the ages bigotry today i declare the age of age fluidity what did you hear about a 60 year old who self-identified as a six-year-old enrolled himself back in primary school and that the other kids entirely fooled but how do we measure age without sounding dumb i thought it was by the amount of times the earth's done a 360 around the sun no, age is a spectrum. If you acknowledge that, then it's changeable. I may look 60, but I'm six and a half. I'm transgenerational. The concept of age is an arbitrary constraint. And on this basis, I've been contemplating whether to declare myself ageless. Age is a recent invention, interwoven in a total conflux. There's no discongruity between a boy and a man. Man is a social construct. They love this term, social construct. They think everything's a social construct. These ogres have told me to sew my gob shot. I'm hoping I won't get locked up. But if nature doesn't mold his conduct, if it's all a social construct, then it follows the idea that everything's a social construct is itself a social construct. They've socially constructed the entire concept of social construct. Constructs. So the clock struck, I suspect these folks have lost touch I revoked their probe rhetoric What an absolute load of bollocks Has biology been abolished? Has psychology been demolished? Why do the facts not matter anymore? Why with the truth do we decide to gamble? They say that we live in the age of post-truth And this nonsense is a prime example Boys will be girls and girls will be boys what? Coming soon to a school near you This is the new normal Boys will be girls, and girls will be boys. Gender's a social construct. These folks have lost touch. Okay. There's a lot we could go and break down, but I pretty much the the whole gist of the video was talking about pretty much look if i had to just sum up this whole thing it's like hey if i'm a woman then why can't yeah why can't the guy who's 20 be 65 kind of like in ben shapiro's video remember when he was asking the the woman in the transgender video that i reacted to remember when he was asking her why aren't you 60 why aren't you 60 right why aren't you 60 why aren't you 60 why can't you identify as 60 why what what is the problem with you identifying as 60. <laughs> you're right age is significantly less important than gender you can't magically change your gender you can't magically change your sex you can't magically change your age and then it's just so crazy how the logic works they're just like well what do you mean do i look 60 to you do I look 60 to you? Okay, well, going by that mode of logic, which is your logic, by the way, what is the difference between a man thinking he is a woman and me thinking that you're 60? And I said this before, if we live in a society where we can dictate that a man is a woman and a woman is a man, if we can dictate these things, then, like I said, where is the line drawn? There is no line. The line is completely blurred. Man, we're living in that society right now. 
especially Western culture. If you try to take this crap to the East, you try to take this to Africa. Okay, and I've already seen a lot of interviews from, you know, a lot of African, you know, ministers, and they're just like, nah, bro, not here. The Western has just lost it. And in this quest for individual freedom, we have actually entered into insanity there is a fine line between freedom of what you want to do and freedom of who you want to be and then just complete idiocracy and insanity like in my firm opinion it's america you can do whatever the heck you want to do okay you can do whatever you want to do believe whatever you want to believe that's not the problem it's when you I've, and i've said this before i think i think for me it's when you start forcing me to say by law you know these are your pronouns or when people get offended for me saying, oh, thanks, man, or I assume their gender. What am I supposed to say after that? Oh, I'm sorry that you look like a woman with your long hair and, I don't know, woman features, okay? And likewise with a man, I'm sorry that you look like a man with your Adam's apple and the like, okay? Like, I I'm sorry with that you have female genitalia and you have male genitalia. I'm so sorry I assumed that you could have been a male. What was I thinking? We all know that there's an agenda. They're trying to normalize these things. And like I said, you could label it as the left or the right. And look, yes, it's coming off as being pushed by the left, by the Democrats. This is just my firm opinion. I think it just goes a little bit more beyond the two sides, the two opposing sides. I think the problem becomes kind of like how it was in the 1960s. They lumped in the gay agenda and now the trans agenda along with other social social justice issues. They made the whole gay agenda, the whole transsexual agenda part of social justice issues and they lump it in with like let's just say black social justice issues for example. And what they've done essentially is that they said, hey, we are being oppressed like black people. And I've said it before, please do not equate your sexual desire with the color of my skin, okay? You are free to believe whatever you want. You are free to do whatever you please. I don't care if you're transsexual, if you're gay. I don't care, I'm not gonna come after you. I mean, whatever, live your life. I'm just saying, don't lump it in with social justice issues. That's why it's gotten so much ground within the social justice world is because they've lumped it in with social justice issues all you got to do is slap a social justice i'm oppressed label on it and you're good to go you know what i'm trying to say this guy just might be up there with tom mcdonald now i know people are gonna be like nah, i wouldn't say he's up there with tom mcdonald but look he spits facts what's his name francis aaron he spits his facts he does remind me a lot of tom mcdonald their rapping style is a bit different but nonetheless i thank you guys for watching thank you kane for sending me this video and um i will be looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video stay safe